What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do the Inception kind of mirror flip effect, I guess if you want to call it that. But this is a really cool effect in my opinion that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys find this tutorial helpful in any way, please drop a like, that'd be much appreciated. But before we begin with the tutorial, if you guys want to learn more about filmmaking or photography and some cool techniques to use in Final Cut Pro 10 or in Adobe Premiere Pro, then you should check out a favorite book I've been reading in the last couple of days on Audible. The book is called Photography Exposure by James Karen. He gives useful tips when you're taking photos and you guys can incorporate them into your projects as an option in Final Cut Pro 10 and some of the things he describes are also film related. Audible has an unmatched selection of audiobooks from news to broadcasters but my favorite section is the comedy section. It's always good to get your giggles out right? Audible is also offering their listeners a free audiobook with a 30 day trial membership. I would suggest you guys try it out on your computer or mobile device. Download a book and start listening, it's simple. I will leave a link in the description for you to sign up or you can go to audible.com slash king tuts. You can pick and keep any book you want for free even if you decide to cancel. Now let's get started with the tutorial. I may be alone, but I'm still searching for the answers beyond that door. I did to achieve that effect. It's very simple. I pretty much slowed down the footage here. I made a copy of it. I placed it right on top and I added a mirror effect. None of this would be possible without the creator, of course. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave his link down in the description. This is the effect that we're going to be achieving in this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and push play so you guys kind of see what I mean. That is the effect right there. Of course, we're not going to be doing that, but we're going to be doing something that we just saw like this. So it kind of looks kind of cool in my opinion. The creator, which is Raphael Rogers, I will leave his link in the description so you guys can watch the whole entire film. His video is absolutely amazing. It's a very good sci-fi short film. I would suggest you guys watching it. Now I used this clip specifically because it's perfectly symmetrical. So in this case, we have this right here. It's perfectly centered in the middle, which is excellent for our tutorial. So what I'm gonna go ahead and delete the first clip, okay? And this is the actual video here. As you can see, there's not another building on the left side like we have on the right side. So we just have this one here, right here, and I did slow it down. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in normal speed. So I go on right here to this timer thing. I go to the normal 100%. So this is the normal shot right here. It's still kind of slow, but we need to slow it down even more. The reason we're going to be doing that is because when we slow down the footage and we add that mirror effect, if we have a shorter clip, it will look like it's going fast and the effect won't look as good. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and select the clip that you want to go ahead and edit. Go to the timer right here. Click on that. Go to the... Uh, the slow and go to 25% which is what I chose 25% is right kind of in between 50% and 10% 10% being the slowest and 50% being kind of the fastest so I chose 25% and right after I did that I went down and went to the video quality and changed that to optical flow I made a whole separate video with this if you guys want to watch it link will be in the description but what optical flow does it pretty much makes the video when you slow it down a little bit more smooth instead of having it kind of jagged all over the you know all over the place so it makes it nice and smooth just like that so that is exactly what we want the longer the video the better if you guys go onto this orange bar you're gonna see how slow it is so 25% you can even slow it down even further so maybe if you want a specific time like maybe five seconds but you don't know what the speed is you guys can go towards the end you can click and drag this down and shrink it to about five seconds as you can see like I think five seconds is right here but because we slow it down the video will be much quicker so we're gonna go ahead and undo that so press command Z so from here what you want to go ahead and do is we want to make a copy of the same exact effect that we did here so press command C and command V to paste it paste it right over onto this one right here so go ahead and drag and drop this on top they should be the same exact clip. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go on to the effects. We're going to go to the distortion effect here. And we're going to go ahead and go down and select the mirror option. So go down, select the mirror one right here. And you can see that you can't really tell what happened. But in reality, it actually flipped the right side of the screen to the left side. So we're going to go ahead and drag that onto the first clip right there. We're going to have this kind of look here. 
However, we're not achieving the effect we want yet. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go towards the front of the video or kind of go towards the beginning of the video. Click on the first clip on top and kind of go a couple of seconds in. So I would say about a second would be fine. So one second after um, a second, I'm going to go ahead and add our first keyframe. So in the inspector window in the mirror under the effects, we're going to go to the angle and there's going to be like a little plus icon to add a keyframe. Go ahead and click on the add keyframe button. And from here, you want to go ahead and play the video and then stop it wherever you want to stop the effect. So in this case, I want it to stop kind of pretty much the whole clip. I want it to go like one whole cycle. So just rotate 90 degrees so that this side, whoops, is below. So this top side of the video will be underneath. So we're going to rotate that 90 degrees. So I'm going to go towards the end. I'm going to add a, you don't have to add another keyframe. You can if you want, but if you just click in the number here and you type in 90, it will add a keyframe for you. So now we have something like this. And right as we, wherever we added the first keyframe, that's where it will begin the first effect to begin. And you can see it's starting to go very slow that really nice smooth and it's also going in so it's also zooming in onto the building if you have a video that does that you guys are solid gold this effect will look amazing if you guys don't it's very very simple just go onto your video if it's a still kind of video then go to the transform option here while your video is selected click on it okay and we want to zoom out to about 25 percent so click on the transform for some reason it looks like this because he exported it in a different resolution but it should be the same go ahead and click on the plus icon and of course go somewhere in between like right here click on it once more and you can of course just zoom in like that and it will add its own keyframe for you so now if you push play it will also zoom in now the reason it's going really fast is because we went too close to the keyframes. The keyframes are too close to each other so it will be a faster animation. In this case it won't work because the video is already zooming in. You guys can do that of course uh, with the effects and the letterboxing is exactly the same. Put everything together once you have everything finished if it doesn't have a letterbox first. Select all of them, right click and go to new compound clip and then go into the effects, type in letterbox and drag that on top and you should have no problem zooming in onto your video. So after that is done, you will of course add your audio and your voice if you want to make it more dramatic. And once you are done, this is the effect that we will achieve. I may be alone, but I'm still searching for the answers beyond that door. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a like, smash that like button, that'd be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't, comment down what you guys want to see next, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.